Hi friends, a little loud. Uh, we did fall the tree like I said, and we prepared this ditch by layering the alder and ivy on top so that Brian could use the Kubota to push the logging, logging arch over this log that was filled with termites and rotten. So instead of making a mess here, we're going to, we've been transporting parts of it in log form. So it's working. This is the last log from that big tree and then scooping up the mess in the ditch, which is whole logs, more like firewood. Um, oh, he's just doing fine on his own. I'll just keep chatting. So where my coat is, that tree came down, and a lot of the branches. So I'd say there's probably about 20 layered in to fill up how deep the ditch is. And this works pretty nifty. steel cable that wraps around with a hook, raise it up with the winch, and back her out. Shouldn't be any major complications. This is the debris. And this home built trailer works great for this kind of stuff. The frame on it also goes on our, the DR power wagon. So we could take a closer look back at that nifty contraption. Works every time. See, Brian built a ball into the insert. And um, the balls are changeable for all the different equipment with different size balls. <laughs> So yeah, he's just got to take it around the road, up the driveway, and drop her off by the mill. The ivy we plan on um, putting through the mulcher to compost. The deer eat it. There's minerals in it. As long as there's chlorophyll, we know that we are getting uh, there's there's life in there. So we're going to compost it, it'll add to the nitrogen, layer in some char, and the big branches of ivy, we could probably burn, it burns like firewood. We've charred a lot of it in the past. Okay, hopefully this, I had to sit on it last time, because he bottomed out, but we'll see. Good. Yeah, this end there's no bugs, but the bugs made it in down the, on the top and worked their way in. Nice. Very nice, Brian. There you go. He's just going to take it home. And I'm going to just tidy up here. He's putting it in the bunny and two wheel drive. There you go. <laughs> so that's one way of doing it. The fence is going to not, uh, well, see, there are still some widow makers up there. I'm not too sure if we'll do that before leaving. Um, thank you for watching. <laughs>